Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play SimCity. We are in our newly claimed town, Twain. I'm um, gonna have to give it another name soon. Um, but yeah, I am actually trying to do this town a little bit different than the other ones. Um, I actually planned out the whole layout beforehand, and I'm trying to go for high density and a lot of population. And I've seen, like, kind of similar design um, in a planning guide, and it was more... Not, not, oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Not a th actually a theoretical construct, it actually works. But uh, yeah, it tries to go for an insane amount of population. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to get there. Would be great to get to a million eventually, but that would take some time. But for now, I'm just actually trying something that I've seen and I like the idea, which is planning out the whole thing. Um, just pretty much putting down residential and commercial. Uh, let it build out and then... Uh, destroy commercial for residential until you have a nice worker um, worker balance, worker job balance. Um, you'll, you'll, you'll probably see where I'm going with this soon. For now, I'm just going to uh, plot down those areas. And as you can see, I did go for uh, intersections. And I'm going to go for offshore, uh, off-city supplies like um, the power and sewage and water. I'm gonna buy that from other cities for now. Um, maybe I'm gonna add a few things here, but this is more likely, uh, more or less, my idea of um, just trying something different right now. Um, I could go for a really well-built town again, but I think having something like a <laughs> giant uh, city in the middle of these two, you know, between like the high wealth town of uh, White Weasel Crossing and Hodenhagen, the industrial nation. I would like something uh, different in between. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of industry. The wind is blowing in this direction, so I might just add that here. Yeah, why not? Or what I need. Yeah, why not? Let's add a little bit of industry. Might kick that off later on, but a little bit more residential here and a little bit more here. And I think for now, yeah, that, that should be fine. Let's speed it up. And uh, we're going to name our city to this probably won't work. <laughs> uh, no, no, something this can't end well. Yeah, that definitely rolls better off the tongue. <clears throat> I can actually put spaces in between. There we go. This can't end well. Because that is my feeling with this town. So we're pretty much just going to let it, you know, like, build up from here. Um, not going to upgrade the roads. Going to, you know, let them move in with the dirt roads. And as you can see, uh, I'm not even trying to be, you know, s super creative here. Um, I'm building this avenue. So traffic between those two towns still is working well. Um, hopefully, at least. There's still going to be traffic jams, but I don't really care. Um... As far as it concerns railroad tracks, I think I'm going to be fine. Um, might, you know, put tracks on this side later on. But they're probably going to destroy all the buildings, so that's going to suck massively. Uh, we're going to see about that. But yeah, until they move in, that's going to take some time. And I'm probably going to do that in between videos mostly. Um, but for now, <laughs> we're just going to see... Uh, the great thing that is the Sim City, uh, well, logic. It's just really easy, the difficulty. Um, it's really easy to get a town going, um, even if you don't have to do a lot. What is this? Oh, yeah, town hall. Totally don't need that, so I'm not going to put it down. You don't have to do a lot to get a functioning town with a lot of income. Um, that was much harder in Sim City um, for 3,000 or 2,000. You couldn't just plop something down, it would lead to problems. This is also going to lead to problems, don't get me wrong. This is going to lead to a ton of problems, but for now, this is just going to work out with this. Um, you just, just need commercial and residential, and yeah, it's going to work out. Um, what is this? You want, you want trains? Transportation, we need to capitalize on a train connection. Uh, no thanks, but I'm going to put down a ferry terminal. Maglev, uh, no. Boats, where are boats? There they are. And, oh, are, are you kidding me? Um, what about over here? Really? Well, seems I'm going to have to 
put this down differently again. Whatever. Just gonna waste a little bit of money there. So I'm just gonna put you down like this. Yeah. That's fine. Alright. I still want the big roads though. So I hope I can still do it like this. Please still let me... Ah, the, 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 it's too steep. Way too steep. A little bit annoying. I'm gonna work around this. And I don't care that I'm wasting money doing this. The fact of the matter is I have more than enough. Uh, also, I'm gonna, you know, <laughs> earn a lot with all them. All of these guys now moving in. Uh, where is that connection? There we go. And let's connect those again. Come on, don't don't make this look too foolish. Eh, screw this. It's fine. And connect it. What a really weird layout, though. Well, as soon as it's con as long as it is connected, we don't even need this. There we go. Don't hate. Uh, let's put down some trees to make it look more nice. So this is at least gonna. Oh, come on. Why why don't the trees plant there? Eh. I don't need you. Energy. We have enough. We have enough of everything. Yeah. It's enough available in the region. Alright. Omega Co. Of course you want Omega Co. But we can I can't help you out with that. N no. no. No thank you. No thank you. We have enough Omega Co. here. Probably gonna be able to build more factories, Omega Co factories, and uh, capitalize on the fact that we have all these buildings here. But for now, this is just um, this town growing up. And we're gonna see how this influences the nearby regions. So, 5,300 already, and I haven't even ramped up the taxes. I think I can just reduce taxes. Um, just gonna let them move in happily. Hopefully, even get a bigger influx. But yeah, I really like this a lot. Um, wouldn't know how to make them grow bigger, but let's have a quick look. Uh, total jobs, available jobs. So, yeah, they're gonna keep moving in here. Look at all these houses here. I think I kind of like the small house style. All these like burger joints and pizza joints. It's pretty much just pizza, donuts, pizza, and gas. And another food place. It's all you need. Food and gas. Food and gas. All you need. Anyway. Uh, what else could we build here to plan for the future? I guess what we can do or what we should do is we should go to the other towns and um, volunteer police and fire trucks for now. I think this is a smart thing to do. Enacting drone safety laws. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, let's use the synergistic effects of this. Um, we can definitely volunteer garbage trucks. That's a good idea. Um, yeah, let's volunteer half of them. Um, same goes, we're gonna volunteer half of the trucks to this town as well. Same goes with police. Six trucks, a prevention van. Yeah, it's all of them. That's fine. And Omega Code Trucks. I can't volunteer all of them, so I'm just going to take six of them and six of them here. It's going to generate a nice additional income. Speed it up. What else is there? Power? No. That's going to happen from this town on. Sending eight of those over there. You know what? I'm going to send all of them over there. Why not? At this point. And hopefully with all these residents that live there, our university in White Weasel Crossing has enough people so we can get finally that um, science addition to our university. Let's send... Ah, we don't need to send anything. No, and we can go back to... <laughs> this can't end well. That was the name, right? Yeah, this can't end well. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna let it run like... Two more minutes or so, just gonna see how this works out, and then we're gonna focus on our other towns. And this is something I'm gonna let grow in between episodes. Um, I'm just gonna let it grow, and then we're gonna do and do the next upgrade step. Because I really don't want to mess this up. 
Um, and I don't want to build without you guys. Um, that's definitely something I don't want. I want you guys to see what we're doing with this. For now, I'm just going to let this run. There is no reason I have these upgraded. Um, I just started upgrading them, but then I realized it would make more sense to just let everyone move in here and then upgrade them all at the same time or slowly, depending on how things go. But um, other than that, the layout is pretty simple and pretty straightforward. Um, as you can see, um, we're, we're saving space with roads because we don't need to road in the middle. And we're just going to put... Um, them across each other in this uh, commercial and uh, residential and eventually we're gonna swap out or at least that's the idea we're gonna swap out commercial for residential to uh, until we have a nice work balance which we can see in here but we're gonna go there soon um, look at all these people visiting probably from the region high <laughs> still really high residential demand from the region as well as industrial I'm not entirely sure if I want to keep industrial here anyway um, might do so. Could get rid of this side. Um, I mean, there is a high residential, uh, industrial demand from the region. Surprisingly, not a lot of from here. And, yeah. Gonna see what we do with this town. Uh, in the experiment that this guy, or not experiment, in this layout that the guy runs, it's really mostly about just getting as much people in here as possible. I want a lot of people here as well, but I also want a functioning town. Um, that's the thing. I want a really big town. All right. Uh, mayor's house. You know what? I'm actually going to put a mayor's house here. Maybe. Yeah. Over here. There can't be any buildings anyway. So might as well put this here and make all the people happy. Look at all the smileys. So many smileys. I love to see this. <laughs> this is one of the best things in uh, SimCity to see all these people being happy. Would you look at our income? 11,000. And we're not running into many problems. I mean, we have a few fires, but since we're covered by Hodenhagen, we should be good. Yeah, you still want those tr railroad tracks, don't you? Might just as well put them there, honestly. Might just put those railroad tracks there. Let's have a quick look. I would just love to be able to build them below the ground. Yeah, I'm not going to give you those strikes. Anyway, uh, we're now going to move to White Weasel Crossing. Maybe we can even already add the science department. That would be great. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to let the town grow in between episodes. And um, I think I'm even going to add the medium density roads to there and just let it grow for a while. Just so you see where it goes from here. Because just watching this grow is probably going to be super boring. All right. Would you look at that? That is some fancy, schmancy, futuristic hotel here. That's actually one of the, what does it say, Kurhaus. Yeah, this is everything but a Kurhaus. As someone who has a Kurhaus, Kurhaus close by, this is not a Kurhaus. Anyway, um, yeah, this thing is doing really well. I think this is what the commercial is about. Um... Wow, these really look cool, the commercial futuristic buildings, gotta say. We still have our churn buildings in between. Very nice. Anyway, um, let's have a quick look at our university. Uh, yeah, we're not getting there. Still not getting there. I would love to see more students in here. Maybe if I start a research project. God, this is gonna be expensive. Or if I just add more people living here. You know, why not? Let's do this. Let's add more roads. Uh, I will need our curvy roads for this, though. <laughs> oh, God. When I have the guides on, this is really odd. Let's turn off those guides. And... Alright, let's just follow this on the side, and I think what I want is, yeah, still keep, like, still keep it flowing. Why can't I build a straight road from here, I wonder? Oh, I can, good. Okay, yeah, I definitely want this. Oh, 
Wait a second. Wait, are these all high density? Okay, those are high density. I was just worried there for a second that these weren't. Upgrade. Okay, they're all high density. Good. Good. These aren't high density though, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Just to make sure everything here is high density where it can be. Yup, yup, yup. Okay, all good. Oh, high density street. There, we're missing some. Not that it's too important. There are no buildings that are put there. And we're just gonna... Yeah, just gonna add it like this, I guess. You know what? Maybe some commercial buildings over here. Just right next to this. Could be kind of cool. Could be kind of cool looking. And I'm not gonna put anything in the middle. It's just a few more of these buildings. Um, let's put down a park. A futuristic park. Uh, it's also gonna be a rich people place. Um, let's put it here, I feel. Yep, works just fine. And there we go. This is gonna make it all futuristic. And we're at 1,800 students of 2,000, and then we can get our science edition and finally research that solar array, because with this big town brewing over there, we're gonna need some energy. And ideally, we're gonna get that from the solar farm. And yeah, we can afford that, we can build that. What do you want? You still want Maxis Man, right? God damn it. It doesn't do anything for me if I get him. Does it? I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm gonna have to look up what the benefits of Dr. Vu are. Anyway, are there some other requests? Uh, you want industry? You're not gonna get industry. Nope, nope, I don't don't want to see it. You need a place to work. Well then, I don't know. Go to take some classes and search for another job. I don't know. Um, if there's none here. So what does this say? There's a high industrial demand from the region. Uh, residential demand goes down. Big surprise, considering our neighbors. Um, do we have worker shortage? Is that so? Yeah, quite a lot of available jobs here for medium and low wealth. But I'm not gonna put those down. Just happy to see. Yeah, you want an airport. There's no space for an airport. Oh yeah, look at this. Our garbage dumps are getting empty. So we can actually start destroying those soon. That's making me happy. But for now, this town is just running so well that there's not much I can do here. Yeah, the ecology. No, 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 no. We're gonna build a solar farm. But again, I'm still hoping that we can get our university up and running. You know what? Show me the guide. just wanna see. Alright, what about the parks, though? Oh yeah, the SimCity launch park. Because they're so sorry about this really awful launch. I can understand that. Yeah. Those are just high wealth everywhere. Well, except here. This is just medium wealth. Um, could remove those and also make this high wealth. Nah, it's fine. Alright, so... Nothing to do here. Yeah. This is not gonna happen now, so might just as well go to Hodenhagen and have a quick look if there's something we can do. So this episode is not really spectacular in terms of um, new things happening. Because I'm surprised that this is running so well. It might have to do with the Cities of Tomorrow pack. But I'm sure we're gonna run into problems with our new town. Looking forward to that. The Wu Tower. Wait, I can't build the... No, detective wing. Ah, oh, that's a thing. Yeah, I would love to build a detective wing. Well, one thing we can do is we can build another university, like, let's say, here. And add the department here, but I don't feel that university would make sense here. Let's have a quick look at the education map. Look at the, all these not-enrolled kids. Well, now I feel bad. Taught 571... Huh. Wait. Wait a second, I just realized. Could it be that we don't have any... Well, we do have school bus stops. 
Not a whole lot, though. So, just gonna add more school bus stops. Yeah, there's a school bus. They don't seem to pick up a lot of people, though. Community college. Oh, yeah, if I put that down at the residential buildings, that's gonna level them up. I'm curious uh, if, how, if that would be a good idea, actually. In any case, uh, Omega Co. I remember these guys were complaining about not enough Omega Co. and going out of work. Maybe we're gonna build down one, another one, but for now I'm just gonna jump back for this can't end well. That's something, education or other town, that's something we have to look into. And this can't end well has a million things that we need to do. But uh, yeah, for now I'm just gonna let this speed up. Oh. Actually, pretty much everywhere they moved in. It's kind of neat. 12,000 inhabitants already. So, yeah. Upgrading. That's something I also got to do. That's going to be annoying. Probably one of the advantages of having not as many roads. Yeah, that's going to take some time <laughs> to upgrade those to medium density. Low density doesn't actually do anything, so... Um, I'm gonna have to upgrade them to medium density. Money I have more than enough. So yeah, this is gonna happen in between episodes. Sorry if this episode was not, you know, spectacular, but I promise you the next one is gonna have quite a lot of challenges if all these people move in. And then hopefully we can also get our science edition and start our solo farm array. That's also um, something I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure that our university has enough students that we can finally start researching the solar array farm and all these nice things. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of SimCity. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. helps out a lot. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye. God, it's going to take forever.